Refer to the given figure and select the correct option. Here are the two test tube given. Test tube P consists of meat which is rich in protein and test tube Q consists of potatoes which are rich in starch. Let's look into options. A. When solution of copper sulfate and caustic soda are added in test tubes P and Q and shaken, the color of solution in test tube P will change into blue-black whereas in Q it will change into purple. This statement is absolutely wrong because meat is rich in protein. When copper sulfate and caustic soda are mixed, it will, the protein will change into purple color. Here, it has been given that it will change into blue-black. So, this statement is incorrect. Wrong. Next B. When iodine solution is added into test tubes P and Q, the color of solution in test tube P will remain unchanged. Whereas in Q, it will change into blue-black. This statement is absolutely correct because potatoes are rich in starch and so when the iodine test is performed, it will change into blue-black and it shows no change. So this statement is correct. Let's look into C. When Benedict solution is added into test tube P and Q and heated, the color of solution in test tube Q will remain unchanged. Whereas in P, it will change into reddish orange. This Benedict solution is used for testing the level of sugar, the lower sugar or higher sugar. But here, test tube P and Q contains only meat and potatoes and it has no sugar. So, this test is not applicable. So, this is incorrect. So, which is correct statement? Option B. When iodine solution is added into test tube P and Q, the color of solution in test tube P will remain unchanged, whereas in Q it will change into blue-black. This is correct.